The Windy City Ghostbusters are getting their gear out for a good cause to help kids in hospitals on the south side. Joining us now to chat about how they're raising money for La Rubita Children's Hospital is president of the Windy City Ghostbusters, John R. Barajas and Charity Liaison at La Rubita, Steve Sendrowski. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Well, thank yeah. you for having us. We you. have thank skirted you. our no proton pack uh, <laughs> sort of ordinance here in the studio for this to happen, by the way. Well, that's okay, because we got a, a letter from the mayor that says we're, we're good to go. That's fantastic. To go. Uh, talk to us a little bit about why Ghostbusters? Why dress up like this? Well, it starts off as a kid. Everyone has seen Ghostbusters, and everyone has made their proton pack, bought their proton pack, or made some out of cardboard, and they just never grow it out of it. I'd like to say that we're just big kids with better toys. Mm -hmm. So we but it's all for a good cause, though, all right? All for a good cause. Uh, we, uh, we are the Windy City Ghostbusters, and we are a 501c3 charity organization. Mm -hmm. Thanks to this guy right here, Steve Sandrowski. He's my predecessor. <laughs> uh, we raise money for La Rubita. We don't take a dime. Okay. Mm. And uh, we, we book events through our events coordinator, and we will do parades. We will do birthday parties. We'll do just about mm -hmm. anything that, uh, that you want. Oh. With, we, just, we just ask for a donation. I have oh. seen you both at Comic-Con. Uh, and with that said, can you please show us a little bit of the Proton Pack and the technology that you guys have on? <laughs> so. Sure. You want to go ahead and point out yeah. some things there, Steve? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, absolutely. So okay. uh, this is our Proton Pack. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this is the Cyclotron. Uh, we got our power cell over here. This is what all lights up on the pack. Uh, do you want to turn around and show them the thrower? Oh, wow. There we go. Thank goodness. This is our particle thrower. This is uh, this is the business end of the proton pack. Ooh, uh, <laughs> why don't you heat them up? There well, we go. I'll tell you what. Why don't we let one of them heat them up? Okay. I like that. Why don't you oh. come on over? I feel like Jeremy must. Come on, Jeremy. There we so go. Excited. Okay. Go. I, right. I've been nominated here. Okay. Right, here so what do I do? Here, so, let me hold your iPad. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Right. Okay. I'm gonna hand Safety this, first, people. I'm going to hand this over to you. Okay. I'm going to put this hand over here. There you go. There we go. You got it? You got it? You sure? I think so. You feel the power? I do. All right. Here we go. What are we going to do? You got your stick. Okay. All right. Heat them up. So you're going to flip that switch right there. Okay. Heat them up. Ooh. Yay. <laughs> now, just That's like in the movie. Yeah. Make them hard. Go ahead and twist it. Twist it? Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. There we go. Now, let's show Chicago how we do it. Okay. How we get it done. All right. Push that red button? <laughs> no, don't push the red button. Don't buy it. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now, Steve, tell us about La Rovita Hospital and, like, why this is such an incredible organization to, that you're raising money for. Absolutely. So, La Rovita Children's Hospital is based on the south side of Chicago, and they've been around for over 100 years. They do a lot of work with specialty cases, um, and they use a lot of the cutting edge technology nowadays in order to help treat these cases that other hospitals may not necessarily be able to treat themselves. Um, and so they, they do a lot of really great work with a lot of these families uh, throughout the city. And I know you both have personal stories of visiting the hospital and, and sort of sharing the joy. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And John, how many members does your organization have? Like, I keep in the photos, I saw a lot of people, a lot of Ghostbusters. We have 80 active members right Ooh. now, currently, wow. that are Ghostbusters. We got our patch on right here. We have a rookies program. We have about maybe 30 or 40. And the rookies program, they have to perf uh, do events like we do mm -hmm. to get their patch. So they have to do four events. Okay. And our, our membership coordinator, he takes care of that. He makes sure that all the members have everything that they need go to all the events and they're counted and then once they're ready they graduate. Why well, do you feel like uh, we should sign Jeremy up for this? So like yeah. where does he get the outfit? I mean, <laughs> how, how do you guys create, is there a place that you can help him create this? Like what, what's, how do we get this? So we, you find uniforms uh, at uh, Army Navy surpluses, you can find them online. Hmm. Uh, mine particularly, this was when I was in the Navy. This is oh. actually my oh. uniform. Oh, thank you, thank you for your service. service. My yeah. pleasure, thank always you. my pleasure. And I just converted it when I joined Windy City. Nice. Steve? And Steve? Uh, mine is from an Army Navy surplus store. Um, patches are custom. Uh, we have both the Windy City and the Ghostbuster Chicago Division patch, uh, which is our sister team and is a uh, a legacy team under our, our team's banner as well. It. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, John. Thank you both. And you know what? I know that uh, this past Christmas you donated over 1,300 toys, donated an $8,000 check to La Rabita. So thank you so much for all that you're doing. If you'd like to learn more or donate to the Windy City Ghostbusters cause, head to their website, windycitygb.com, or follow them on their socials that you see there on your screen. And Jeremy, don't worry, I'm going to be signing you up. That was so right? cool. So cool. Okay.